and today I have got for you a very very special specific uh, video which will help you to understand how to choose how to price How should I price the menu? What kind of a price should I keep on a specific dish? These are very very common questions I keep on getting and I would like to cover this in today's video. Hi, this is Gopal Kamath. I am a restauranter and the founder of Restaurant Launch Formula where we teach you how to successfully start a food business and earn a lot of profits out of it. And today I have got for you a very very special specific uh, video which will help you to understand how to choose how to price your menu how to price your food what should you think about when you are whether when you are when you want to price it the right way in the market it shouldn't be more high it shouldn't be more low if it is more high your customers will not be able to afford the food if it is low you will not be able to make profits on the food so it has to be perfect like a like a knife in a cheesecake the perfect the perfect pricing which will help which will help you to generate those volumes and and earn a lot of revenue so let's start on this video the first and very important the very important point is average price what is the average price of that dish from in from around your peripheral market let's say for example you are selling a toast sandwich what is the cost of the toast sandwich everybody else is charging from the customers because please remember the customer who is the customer is going to your competitor's restaurant is going to come to your restaurant he he has to have a comfort level on what you are charging as far as your uh, menu is concerned the second one is the second is food cost How, what is your cost let's say you are it should not be the case that you are selling the dish at a rate and your cost of cooking that dish is more than what you are selling it. So you have to always remember what is the food cost of that dish so that you can charge properly and appropriately. It should not be more, it should not be less. Let's go towards the third topic. The third topic is quantity. What is your quantity? Are you giving in a small bowl? Let's say for example you are giving, you are serving a dish. Are you serving it in a small bowl? Are you taking a big bowl? What is the quantity? How much ml? How much kilo? What What is the weight? What is the uh, quantity in liquid in liters which you should because that will also be observed by your customer that will also be observed that they are charging a little high but they are giving me ample quantity that is also looked by the, the small things are very very important while pricing your menu. Let's go towards the fourth the thing the fourth is all about volume what what kind of volumes do you want to do as far as that particular dish is concerned let's say for example you are serving pav bhaji and you want to you want this dish to be at the top of the town then you can decide to charge it reasonably not hike the charges very often so that a lot of people come and have and it becomes the top of the town and let's go towards the fifth thing Delivery. What is the mode of delivery? Are you home delivering it on the aggregators like Zomato and Swiggy? Then it is going to cost more because you have to add their commissions also in the cost. Or and so that's one of the most important thing. How is it? Are they going to come and take it? Are the customers going to come and uh, take it from here? Then you have to keep it reasonable. If they have been you are serving it in their houses, then it has to be a little higher because you have to take care of the delivery as well as the sixth point which is about packaging if you are using packaging to uh, to uh, parcel the containers uh, to parcel the food and to serve to the customers then it has you have to take into consideration the packaging cost you cannot bear the cost of packaging once or twice it's fine you cannot do it every time because you'll go into a loss so you have to decide on the you have to decide on all these elements when you think about pricing your menu i hope you guys loved the video and I'm sure this video and the information is going to help you to open a successful restaurant of your own. 
Now, if you want to go more deeper and have an in-depth understanding about the restaurant business, I suggest you join my five days WhatsApp class. The link is in the description section under this video. And in this five days WhatsApp class, I take you step by step to the foundational pillars of restaurant business and the food business. What should be your concept? What should be your location? What should be your thinking like a restaurant restauranters uh, like our restaurant owner thinks? And how should you match it with the right type of target clientele this these are the core pillars on which the foundation of your successful restaurant holds so if you really want to take it to a deeper level and have a better understanding about the restaurant business go to the link in the description section and sign up for my five day whatsapp class there is a small fee which i charge so that you guys